Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this delicious meal called Masaman Curry. It's super simple and delicious. So you're gonna need a variety of ingredients. You're gonna need some baby carrots, an onion, some lime, three potatoes, some raw chicken, I use thighs, or you can use chicken breast. You're gonna need some fish sauce, some brown sugar, some peanut butter, some coconut milk, so two coconut milks, some chicken broth, some coconut oil, or you can use vegetable or olive, some brown sugar, red curry paste that you can get from an Asian grocer, as well as some Masaman curry paste. You can get it from there as well. So I start off with peeling and chopping up my potatoes. I use about three potatoes for this recipe. So after I peel my potatoes, I'm just gonna cut them up into little small cubes. It is very easy to cook when they're small, so that's why I cut them up so small, but, but this cooks a lot quicker. So once I'm done cutting up all the potatoes, I set them aside and I put it in a bowl aside for later. Next, I'm going to dice up one onion. And once I'm done dicing that up, I'm going to set that aside as well. But I'm going to put it in a different container or a different bowl. After that, I'm going to cut up the carrots. And you're going to cut them up very small. And you're going to put that in the same bowl as the potatoes because I put them in at the same time so you can put them in the same bowl. Once that's done, I'm going to cut up some raw chicken. So I'm gonna take off my rings and I'm gonna get my chicken out. So I cut the chicken breast into small cubes as well. And I make sure to get the fat off because I don't want to eat the fat. <laughs> Make sure that they're cut up very small. You can use chicken thighs or chicken breasts. I just use breasts for this recipe, but both are very good. And I use about two pounds. Next, you're gonna add the coconut oil. So I add about two tablespoons of that. But like I said, you can use vegetable or olive really hard to get out so you might need to use like a spoon or something to help you out it's gonna stir that in and allow it to melt for a while next I open up my coconut milk so coconut milk is very thick so it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to get it out so you might need to use a spoon as well And next I'm gonna open up my curry pastes. I have this can opener that I really love and I'll attach it in the description, but it's super convenient. You can just literally put it there and it opens up for you. So I really like this. And so I'll attach that in my description if you guys are interested. So once those things are open, I get my onions ready. I pour them in and I allow them to brown for a little bit. Give it a stir. Once that's browned a little bit, I add the carrots and potatoes. I also mix that up. Next, I add two 13.5 ounce coconut milks in there. 
So like I said, it might be a little hard to get out, so you might need a spoon to assist you. Mix that up a bit and then add the next one. After the coconut milk is added, I add about one and a half cups of low sodium chicken broth. If you have regular sodium chicken broth, I think that's fine. If you do use the low sodium, then you wanna add your own salt. Next, I add about three tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. So as you can see, this is hard to get out, so I'm going to have to use a knife to assist me because they just don't want to come off. <laughs> Once that's in, I add two tablespoons of brown sugar to the mixture. And then I give that a little bit of a stir. Afterwards, I squeeze half a lime all over it. So you wanna get that lime all up in there. It really adds a good flavor. Next, I add a tablespoon of fish sauce. So fish sauce has a very interesting flavor, but I really think it, it works for this meal. So it's definitely a needed one. Next, I add some red curry paste. So I add a tablespoon as well. Then I add the Masamon curry paste and you just add the whole thing in there. Once all that's in there, I mix it all around and as you can see, the color is starting to change. So once you start getting that orangey flavor or orangey color, you're now in business. Afterwards, I add the raw chicken to the mixture. So I wanted to add it without having to touch it, just like scoop it in, but there was a lot of chicken juices and I didn't want it, that to go everywhere. So once I finish adding my chicken, I'm just gonna wash my hands because you do not want to be touching a whole bunch of other stuff with raw chicken hands. So make sure you guys are cleaning up your hands before you spoon anything. Next, I mix everything together before adding my lid on and starting my Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna close the pot up. And then I'm going to cancel the saute and start pressure cook. And I'm going to cook it up on high pressure for 20 minutes. Afterwards, I am going to clean the spot that I cook the chicken on because like I said, you would wanna be careful when you're dealing with raw meat. And while my moss mons cooking, I'm going to start some rice. So I make about two cups of rice and then I do about four cups of water to my other Instant Pot because I have two, why not? <laughs> and I mix that up and I allow that to cook while I wait. Now, once the Instant Pot's done, I just add some tomato paste. If you like a thicker sauce, that's why I did that, but you do not have to add tomato paste at the end. I just did that for a more thick sauce. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Afterwards, you're gonna chop up some peanuts, some dry roasted peanuts. and we're gonna add them all together. And there you have it, you guys. This is a very delicious recipe. You're gonna wanna add some salt at the end of this, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video, and leave any comments if you have any questions. Bye.